So tomorrow's the big day. I'm gonna cut a hole in the roof of this perfectly brand new vehicle. This unit is the 6401K, manual open. Can run down the road with it open or closed as long as it's locked. Pretty basic, but it will give the, the van ventilation. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, get it? All right, so we're starting here on this Max Air fan install. Taped out 14 by 14. Inside, drilled a hole for the adapter to go on top as a template and spot. No going back now. Trailer for a wind block because it's kind of windy today. So I've got the blanket and the ladder being held down by a couple of uh, straps to keep it from moving. Hopefully it's stable. To find the starting point, I just put that drill bit through so I can trace the outline. 14 by 14. I'll measure it, tape it, then cut. Had to go slightly over the marked line to get a true 14 by 14. To catch the metal filings while I do the cutting, just fabricated a box that I'll tape to the roof as I cut from the top. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Well, it's a 14 by 14 hole. The trap worked good. So, 14 by 14 hole, sanded lightly the edges, acetone cleaned it, getting ready to use window weld for the adapter plate, which will leave a flat surface for the fan to attach to. Spread a little bit of primer, just to dab the edges, prevent uh, rust from forming. I'll put a couple coats of that before I glue the adapter down, which will I uh, will let cure for a few hours. It's the quick set window weld. And there we have the flange with the window weld, three beads, press lightly, take your finger around the edge, wipe off the excess. I did tape it, so it'll be a clean, clean break that you're supposed to take the tape off within 15 minutes of application of the template here. It's been all afternoon so now we're going to put on the flange and to do that we're using butyl seal tape around the perimeter and then we'll drill once it's set. Two layers and I'll trim the excess. So this is the hardware that I'm using. Stainless steel three quarter inch with a lock washer. And also these stainless steel washers that have some rubber on the back side. So in the middle holes of the front and rear, it's a little bit thinner, the adapter is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lock washer on top of this so then I won't pierce through the roof. And then on the four corners, I will go through the roof with the one inch stainless steel along with a lock washer, just on the corners. All right, so it's all mounted in. I'm gonna put Eternabond seal over these screw holes and on the roof for another level of water protection. Got this for free from the local insulation place so can't ask for a better deal than that all right well here's the final product installed the eterna bond is a little bit messy but it seals well or so i've heard and it does come off with a lot of work so yeah, it should be good to go
here's a shot of it inside. Now I'm ready to finish out the interior, which will be happening in the next couple days. Overall, it's pretty uh, easy install. Took about a day. This is just the four speed. lowest speed and barely audible pretty cool